question. A stunning new example and the contrast in the media's treatment of Melania Trump and Michelle Obama. You don't want to miss this. Michelle, merchant of death, Obama. The bitter half of the Obama administration. Maybe we should call her Lady Michelle Obama. It's like we have a king and queen. Michelle Obama is, is so, like the Duchess, when she speaks kind of about- She's kind she, she is, by the way, well they're not she just- be eating? She's, she's, she needs to drop a few. Melania Trump is spectacular in every way, and she is a dazzling representative of the United States. She is a woman of strength and should be revered, not made fun of. The woman is- beautiful inside and out. Melania Trump is one of the classiest, most elegant, smartest women I know. And it's impossible for people not to have the pants charmed off of them when she shows up. America and the world seems to have fallen in love with the first lady, Melania Trump. Michelle Obama, she may not be proud of her country, but she's certainly proud of her wardrobe. The first lady was caught on camera wearing shorts. And some people think this is a big no-no for a first lady. The first lady was also criticized for wearing a sleeveless gown to the inaugural ball. When she opened up her, the White House vegetable garden, she was wearing a pair of boots that cost $775. Running around in a, almost a $7,000 jacket really sends a conflicting message. The real injustice is the press's attention on what she's wearing rather than what she does. Melania Trump press always looks so stunning and so beautiful. I just want her wardrobe. She tends to try to make statements by her appearance. They right. commented on her uh, shoes, that she had heels on at one point before she changed into sneakers. Pretty much, Michelle Obama got a pass. Interestingly, Michelle Obama, she gets out of a vehicle. She's carrying a bag that was $1,200, and nobody said a thing. No one said a thing about her $500 land and wow, sneakers bro. either. Reportedly spending $2,000 on this sundress. What? The first lady changed into a $950 skirt <laughs> just hours later. You think maybe the press would have more to worry about than what the first lady wears, but no. Lives are at Stake here. Why are we worried about fashion right now? Now that a Republican is president, apparently the first lady is expected to dress like a poor person. You can't criticize someone for their clothes, for their wardrobe their choices. First lady Michelle Obama stepped out wearing an expensive designer jacket for a reception at Buckingham Palace. The price tag, $6,800. Melania Trump looks stunning. She looked beautiful, right? as I mean, always. We just take that for granted. Melania Trump always certainly looks stunning and always a fashionista in Mount moments like this. Taking the nanny state to the new level, Michelle Obama is suggesting what you should feed your children. This isn't about science. It never has been. It's about control. Taxpayers would be outraged that they're going to be asked to spend another four and a half billion to elevate Michelle Obama to sainthood. If a first lady gets political and places herself in the political arena, then uh, you, I think we need to give her the credit. It's wonderful that the first lady is reaching out to young people. This is something the first lady has been very passionate about, so I commend her for her choice. Can you imagine if we would sit here on Fox News and attack Michelle Obama for something that she was trying to do to better the country? Big Mama or Big Nanny is wagging her fingers at the food industry. Michelle Obama talks healthy food eating, then goes out and eats cheeseburgers. Is the first lady overstepping her bounds? The general rule with first ladies is that they're off limits. You don't attack the first lady unless like, she does something really newsworthy. Michelle Obama thinks being America's first lady is, quote, hell. She's doing pretty well. She takes trips to New York, Broadway plays, out to dinner. She's got a great life. And fancy date nights. Fancy date nights in New York and traveling the country and, you know, fancy clothes. I don't know what she's complaining about. They can't stop disparaging her. Why is there such an obsession over her? It's so offensive. Like, what did Melania Trump ever to do with any of these people? And the public is seeing these Marie Antoinette vacations that she's taking, and they're not liking it. Now you're hearing Michelle Antoinette on the internet. Pundits decide those heels were proof that the First Lady is a modern-day Marie Antoinette. They're harpies. They're jealous and they're envious. Michelle Obama's face is like this. She tries to look like she's smiling, but she can't pull it off. Right. Her posture is bad, her right. mouth is in a bad place, even her eyes. And then we had the disgusting story about Michelle Obama's bottom. Michelle Obama's bottom? I don't know where that was. I must have missed that one. Melania Trump just posed for her official White House portrait. But of course, liberals found reasons to bash her. In a fair world, of course, Melania Trump would be splashed over every fashion magazine in America. I have never seen a first lady be attacked like this, like Melania Trump has. I don't believe this ever would have happened, or can I think of it happening, to 
Michelle Obama. Michelle Obama's whining that she can't tweet. Are we to believe that she's kidding or just haphazardly stringing words together and they came out in a sentence? Is there an out of touchness there? Very. Political tone deafness of staggering proportion. They would never do this to Ob uh, Michelle Obama, would they? It would be outrage all over the place if somebody said this, you know, God forbid about Michelle Obama. Women are supposed to stick together. Even Hillary Clinton said that. It's a glaring double standard. It has to end. It's so obvious. Leave the first lady alone. There's a double standard. We all know this. I mean, it's transparent.